you have graduated from school and you don't want where to apply in university, uh, here is my advice to you. My advice to you is to enter the MAM University for many reasons and we are going to figure out what are the reasons by introducing the MAM University facilities and services. And we are going to start with the registration uh, deanship. As you see here, this is the admission and uh, registration deanship as you see here in the picture. And this place, uh, this place is the way graduated people or uh, graduated people in school students apply uh, here to register in the MAM University. And also it contains from two floors as you see here and it contains from 50 office uh, at least. I'm right now with Dr. Jamal Hiafi. He's the head of computer science in this college and uh, I just like to ask you, give us a brief introduction about this college. The well, College of Computer Science and Information Technology, uh, it's one of the colleges at the University of Denmark. Can, uh, it's, it's four years uh, program after the third year. It has two departments, the computer science department and the computer information systems department. In the computer science department, we have um, uh, one degree, the bachelor's, bachelor's in science, computer science, and next year we will start a new degree, uh, bachelor of science in cyber security and digital forensic. Uh, the first two years in the college is common, so all the students take the first two years, all the courses are the same. After the fourth semester, so at the end of the second year, uh, they have the chance to choose between either computer science or computer information um, uh, system uh, major. Uh, after one year, we will start our uh, master program. Hopefully, uh, we are in the process of uh, working toward the master program in, in computer science. Uh, I think that's for fresh graduate students who just graduated from high school, and you want them to come to this college. Give them reasons, you know, give them good points. Well, first they should have interest yes. in technology, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they should be good in math, mm -hmm. okay? So the, 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 the logic, critical thinking should be very strong in order for them to succeed in computer science or even information system. So I, again, it's based on their interest. But for them to succeed, they, they should have that passion to, to, to work with uh, technology, latest technology to keep to keep up with the updates, you know, technology updates every day. You know, so they should they should keep themselves updated with with uh, anything related to their interest. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Fine. As a teacher in uh, preparation, uh, what is the knowledge that you apply to uh, preparation your students? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's very important that we. Uh, make our students aware that the preparation is very important for your future studies. The subjects that we select in this particular program, English, Math, Computer Skills, Communication Skills, will serve you uh, enhanced knowledge of what you will be preparing for yourself for your future degree programs. Uh, English now, for example, is one of the leading languages, if not the most leading language, uh, that is used worldwide. So having greater knowledge in English will uh, make you more equipped to use it uh, and improve your business and IT skills. So you prepare the new students to enter the uh, colleges like uh, medical college or engineering yes. college. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Doctor, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Doctor Lithman Shabani, the dean of College of Engineering at the University of Denmark. I'll ask you two questions. The first is, uh, give me a brief introduction about uh, engineering college. Well, uh, College of Engineering was established in 2002. It started with the two programs, uh, the Construction Engineering uh, Program and the Environmental Engineering Program. Right now we have uh, four uh, programs, undergraduate programs. Those including uh, the biomedical engineering, which is a female uh, engineering program, and we have the transportation and traffic engineering. Uh, we are so proud that the first year uh, of 
you know, graduating the first batch of engineers in the biomedical engineering will be this year, and next year we will have the first batch of uh, uh, transportation and traffic engineering uh, um, uh, engineers. So that's what we have, four programs, and we are developing right now uh, more programs uh, for the undergraduate and graduate level. I want to ask you about what degree you give to the students in this college? As I mentioned, there are uh, four different uh, programs that offer uh, uh, four, four degrees, undergraduate or a bachelor degree uh, in, in construction engineering and in environmental engineering and in biomedical engineering, this is for female, and traffic and transportation engineering. Thank you, sir. University of Damma provides a lot of facilities for their students, such as football stadium, basketball, squad, swimming pool, and gym. University of Dammam provides uh, students housing to those who live far away from Dammam city about 80 kilometers and University of Dammam drones uh, give a lot of facilities to those students uh, such as laundry, cafeteria, supermarket, bullying 